Hello Stampers! Puccini and I are back with a next swap bunch and again I'll try to keep it to about 20 minutes. So let's just get started. So here is my next swap. Isn't that pretty? This one was done by Lucinda V. Gosden and it says thinking of you and it's very simple but very pretty. Dear friend it says on the inside and then she put a little flower on her uh, envelope on the front and one on the back. Very beautiful card and yet so simple. Very nice. Thank you, Lucinda. Um, and Lucinda goes by Frabjous, F-R-A-B-J-O-U-S cards. And she's actually got a few videos up and she also has a very robust Facebook page. And so this one says Happy St. Patrick's Day. Lovely colors. I, I wouldn't know, know necessarily to put those together, but it's great. Good friend is like a four-leaf clover. Hard to find and lucky to have. Isn't that sweet? And then these two tags and the Happy St. Patrick's Day. And of course, this is one that's been um, liberated from its envelope, so I'm not sure exactly who did that one. <laughs> Here's another one. Wishes for a beautiful birthday. And let's see, this flap lifts up for a special person on a special day. Isn't that pretty? And I don't know if this is stamped or whether that's DSP. Kind of hard to say, maybe stamped. It's very pretty, and again, no, no name on that one. Then this one is, um, it might be from the Denver Den Demo Group, and I was just going to guess that this one was Janet Weishet, and absolutely it is. She used this little oval. I've seen a couple of those with that on it. Some designer series paper, a rabbit, and then some, some Easter eggs. It looks like spring. And then inside, there are those beautiful flowers, colored. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Janet. Uh, Janet's here in the Denver metro area and part of my group of people out of uh, the North Denver Kindred Inkers group. And this is from my team member, uh, Patricia McClure, newer on my team. Isn't that pretty? Friends forever, it says. Kind of a fun fold. And you're positively the greatest. I love the black and yellow together with the gold accents. It's just very pretty. Thank you, Patricia. Just a lovely card. Very, very nice. Okay, this next one is by Kathy Hansen. And I'm going to find a way to open that. There we go, right at the top. And hers is also a fun fold. Very nice. It says, You Make Me Smile, and it's got this stamped and splatters on it. A very nice card. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy's also part of that Kindred Inkers group here in Denver. All right, this one. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. This one is from Lori Mantobi. Lori does such a beautiful job. This card is great. It's a double point but going the other way. Usually they have a tendency to go kind of up and down. I like this a lot better because this, these flaps are so much more robust. So it's in black and white except for the flower and the leaves. Ah, oh, beautifully done. And there's some Wink of Stella on this flower. Just gorgeous. And then she put this contoured um, scallops die on the inside and on some designer series paper. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful card. And Laurie is out of Staten Island, New York and a member of my team. Absolutely a great card. Thank you, Laurie. All right. Next I have this one, which is from Gloria Rapson on my team. And this is a one of those box cards that goes like this. 
I think this flap is supposed to glue down. I'm not positive, but I'd, I'd be willing to bet. And then this opens up and the card stands. And she's got that pretty background in there in this bird's nest, a colored bird and some flowers and leaves, the nest, and then the bird's eggs. And then the whole card stands up like this. Very, very nice card. Or let's see, maybe it's supposed to come out like that. I think that's what it's supposed to do. And then, yeah, and then it, it stands out and away from the background on either side. Just very, very pretty. Thank you, Gloria. It's a lovely card. I love that die set and stamp set with the birds. I think it's called the Nested Friends. And they're just, just great. Thank you, Gloria. All right, next I have one. This one is from uh, a subscriber and customer, I think, Carol Bradbury. And Carol is from here in Aurora. Isn't that pretty with the daisy and the, um, and the almost looks like palm fronds. Franz. It says celebrate. It looks like it's got some stickles on it. And and yes, this is just beautiful card with the pinks and corals. Oh my gosh, very, very pretty. And then there's a strip of paper on the inside. I recognize this paper from several years ago. It's just gorgeous. In fact, I have a small stash of it myself because I thought it was so beautiful. I kept some too, Carol. <laughs> Thanks very much, Carol Bradbury, from here in Colorado. This next one is from, I think, Andrea. Yes, Andrea Budd on my team. And she used this beautiful vegetable paper. Uh, she's cleverer than me. I couldn't figure out quite what to do with it. And yet this is very bright and colorful. And she's got a rooster on here and a corn plant. Thinking happy thoughts of you. It's a top folding card. This is happy birthday and it's got these farm kind of looking stamps on the inside of barn and some green hills. Really pretty card. Very nice. Thank you so much, Andrea. It's a lovely card. I love the color combination. Very, very nice. Okay. So let's see as I work through here. I have this one, which is from Wanda Williams. Oh, this one was fun. This one has this strip that comes across here with this birthday message. Beautiful designer series paper on this modified gatefold. And this piece comes away from here and then allows the card to open. And nothing fancy, just love it says, and it's done with that fancy flora paper. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this flower, and I don't recognize this one, um, but I think this is a very clever closure. I've not seen anything quite like that. So modified gate close with a... We challenged ourselves to do um, fancy folds for one of our, our swaps on the team, and people came up with the uh, most amazing cards. And this was Wanda's. Wanda's, again, my upline from Stampin' Up. So thank you, Wanda. Beautiful card. All right. Next, I have this one. Oh, this is from Kathy Howes, who sent a birthday card to me. And it was using um, a, uh, a scheme that I came up with for a swap that I did with the Denver Demos. And she said in here, loved your layout and gave it a try. And she did hers in a happy birthday with the purples, isn't that pretty? And she put her stand on the back like I did, just as cute as it can be in purples and pinks. Thank you, uh, Kathy Howes. And she's Be Creative with Kathy. And she's got YouTube channel, she's got a blog, she does classes, and she's over on the north side a little bit in Denver. And let's see. Oh, this is a card I'm loving to show you. This is from uh, On My Team. Um, 
Cheryl Wojak, and Cheryl is in Florida. And first of all, the front of this card is beautiful, done in that uh, Hello Irresistibles, but I want you to look at this card. It opens like this. Isn't this amazing? And it says on the inside, as you open it, just a note, happy, and then birthday. And it, the whole thing opens like an accordion and has embossed pieces and stamped pieces and then these message pieces. This is got to be a labor of love. That is an amazing card. Probably using two, well, yeah, two sheets of paper to get it to come out like that. But isn't that amazing? Very, very nice card. Cheryl Wojak out of Florida. Thank you, Cheryl. That's just lovely. So much work people put into these, and they're just beautiful. This is one by um, Lucinda V. Gosden, and this was her fun fold. And hers is, I, I can't remember what these are called, but the card opens like this. Isn't that fun? And then this is attached to this piece as kind of a flying buttress, but the whole thing stands up and stands and looks like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I think there's some kind of a wing card. And then when you close it, it fits in a regular size envelope and you see this lovely pattern paper on both sides. Uh, Lucinda V. Gosden out of Williamsburg, Virginia, and then she also did some decorating on her envelope back. But uh, these are so clever, these cards that people sent. It was pretty amazing. So that is um, from Lucinda. Then the next one I have this one, another from Lori Mantovi, and this was her fun fold card. Look at this. This one is a three-tier standing card. Isn't that fun? So when it's standing, it looks a little bit like this. And it's got those ranunculus flowers on it. It says, every, wishing you everything wonderful. And then down here it says, celebrate you. And then on the back side of this is a place for your message. Isn't that great? I may have to give that one a try. By the way, if you see any of these on here and you can tell me what video it was on and roughly the point on the video that it was and you want me to tackle making one, I'm really happy to do that, showing you just how to make it. This would be one that might have piqued interest as well as the one by Lucinda. Okay, so this is the next one I have. This is from Wanda Williams. It's got this beautiful basket weave embossing folder. And these flowers, thinking of you with all my heart, it says. And this looks like, yeah, opens like this. And then it has another one of those beautiful flowers on the inside. Just a beautiful card. Thank you, Wanda. And to remind you, Wanda is my upline in Stampin' Up. All right, next I have one from Meg Scalron, and it's got this cute little rabbit on it, and it says, rainy days are better with you, and this card, oh, look at that, how clever. It's got designer series paper around here, and this piece um, can stand up, it looks like, and it's got this cute little bird on it, and then this paper looks like it has raindrops on it, and then she's used um, uh, embellishments here that look like little raindrops and then there's a place on the back here for you to write your message very clever pretty little card great fun thank you Meg Scowron and Meg is from Pittsfield Massachusetts so if you're in that area and looking for somebody she would be a good choice here is the next one this is part of the Denver Kindred Inkers. This is one that we did where we were doing a monochromatic card. And so this one is in various shades of the Blackberry Bliss. To a friend that makes me smile. And it says hello on the front. Isn't that a pretty card? Simple but absolutely gorgeous. 
here is another one out of that same swap group. And uh, this one doesn't have a marking on it either. But it's that wave stamp. And then it looks like she's got some ribbon pulled through this message. You are so totally awesome. And birds and clouds. Really pretty. And then on the inside, it's got a pelican on these posts. Isn't that pretty? Just a beautiful card from, I know, my Kindred Inkers group. Um, let's see, this is also from that same swap. And this one, let's see if it has any markings on it. No. Uh, it says, Happy Birthday and Everything's Done in the Fresh Freesia, including this beautiful spray of leaves and some little rhinestones on it. And it says, Today is all about you. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. And I'm not sure what this stamp is on the back here. Can't quite make it out. But it gives the idea of designer series paper, but it looks like it might have been stamped by somebody. And uh, it's just lovely. So thank you from my Kindred Inkers group. Here's another out of that swap. That, and these I can tell just because they're monochromatic. Uh, thinking of you. And then on the inside it has this little flower and plenty of space to write your message. Very pretty. All in purples. Some of the designer series paper for the color groups. Very nice. Beautiful little card. Thank you. This next one is one that is a fun fold. And I'm just so sorry that I can't tell you who did this. Look at this card. First of all, it is a tent card. So it opens like this, but it is a closed tent card. And you can see that they've attached some flowers to this first layer underneath here. So they show through. And they cut out one of those trees to sit over here. This is a piece of embossed vellum that is this rabbit. And it says Happy Easter with these big birch trees behind it. Isn't that just a gorgeous card? So pretty. I'm not even sure I got any of this paper. Um, and of course it's probably gone now. But isn't that just beautiful? I may try to figure out how to do one like this and, and maybe I'll make mine a flower or something so that uh, I'm not trying to replicate this one exactly, but a very pretty card. Onward here, the next card that I have is, let's see, this one was from Denise Becker, who was on my team at the time, and it's a Halloween card. Isn't that cute? With the house and the trees, kind of a starry sky, and it says boo here with uh, three little critters across the bottom. And Denise Becker is in Mel Melbourne, Florida, and uh, is the Stampin' Up! demonstrator for actually some time. And this little saying right here says, Say boo and scary on. Isn't that cute? In black and purple and gold. Very pretty. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate that. That's a beautiful card. Now this one is a card from a customer or subscriber. Yes, Corey Meyer. Oh yes, I remember. Um, I believe that Corey is from England. And uh, there's a group of people that come over and visit with um, a lady that's in this Denver metro area. And we put on a little card class for she and her guests from England. And it was so much fun. And this is a card from her that she sent saying that she had watched some of my videos and was getting very excited about coming and doing this card class. Very nice. Corey Meyer. Thank you, Corey. Um, okay, this one is a Crispin, Christmas one. This one is done by Carol Wojak. And there you can see she's put this stamp with the birdhouse and the cardinals and some holly on her uh, card and then Christmas greetings at Christmas on the back 
and then this is the card and it's an ornament isn't that pretty in shiny paper and glittered paper and then the shape actually cut out like an ornament and then on the inside it says may the peace of the season light your world and may your new year be the brightest Cheryl isn't that gorgeous just a beautiful card what a wonderful thing because it's got a little hole here at the top and you could actually hang that on your tree isn't that fun just great and it can stand also it looks like it comes it's got a little opening here that it can stand like this there we go isn't that fun very nice thank you Cheryl that's a lovely card I've so enjoyed looking back through these I'd forgotten about some of them because I had them in the box for so long and this one is from Pam Cullen and it's got pretty fall leaves on it and kind of this it looks like crushed curry and um, Cajun craze on this with copper from our home to yours just a little reminder that you are loved isn't that a lovely sentiment and a beautiful little card thank you Pam very very nice card this one came from my uh, I'm pretty sure this is might be the work of Kathy Howes it says sending happy thoughts and then it's got this beautiful flower stamped on it and then again on the inside for a very happy birthday and I think this was a swap out of the Kindred Inkers group here in Denver and I'm pretty sure that Kathy did this one and it's just great this is hard to stamp that's a two-step stamp and she did it absolutely perfectly just beautiful thank you Kathy well I am real close to maybe I'll do one more um, and then we'll cut this video off and I tell you I still have quite a few uh, I think I'll have enough to do one more video out of this group so this one says happy birthday and it's the one with the logs and the um, and the paper here that simulates the bark on a tree and then these cut pieces happy birthday and there's some fall flowers here and some trees in the background and it says it's your day build in some time for yourself and there's a plane on the inside isn't that fun and a couple of orangey kind of rhinestones beautiful card and I'm thinking that might be from my kindred inkers group as well okay so I'm going to bring some of these back in so you can see them and um, I'm trying to keep these so that they're not so tedious or long um, that you can really sit down and watch them and let me bring some of these back in so you can see them and they're just so much fun to get and to have and I promise never to let it go this long again <laughs> before I do a swap video because to have to do four of them means that this is you know really a lot of swaps <laughs> there's that beautiful one which I may try uh, let's see that and this thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today I do so appreciate it and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator well I'd love to be your demonstrator or you could join my team it's always a good time to join Stampin' Up! Um, and um, I'd love to talk to you about it if you have an interest at all and want to um, just chat about what it takes and how it works I'm happy to do that my information is always listed below in the show more part of the video um, and um, happy to talk to you about any of these um, and again if you see one that you like that you'd like for me to make that you think is interesting please let me know in your comments and I will do so so that's it for me thanks so much for stopping by and I'll be back soon with more cards actually more swaps more cards and more projects thanks we'll see you soon bye